Good day guys and welcome back to 72T. In today's video we're going to be doing a review on SPS On Demand on the Foxtel IQ4. So it's now available, it came out on Tuesday and we're going to do a video on it today, just a bit of a walkthrough and just show you how it all runs on the Foxtel set top box. So let's get into it and um, let's get started. So first of all let's just click on the apps button on the Foxtel IQ4 remote. Um, and if you've got an IQ2 remote, it is the active button, this one right here. Okay, so when you click on that, just click on SBS On Demand. Now, if you do not have the update yet, what you can do is you can hold down the uh, off button, hold it down until it goes red, and then um, when it goes blue, click it a few times and the update should proceed. So this is on the IQ4. So as you see, um, we're all into the on-demand experience on SBS On Demand. Now, before we get into the app, there's actually one thing I forgot to just show you. If you click on the Home button, right here, so go to Home, wait for that to load, and the top here, you're going to start to see recommendations for um, SBS On Demand. So there you'll see, you'll see the SBS, and they'll just put On, and that, that means On Demand right there. So if you scroll through it, sometimes... SBS On Demand will pop up um, right there. So that's something you can do. Now let's go to the app and um, just show you the whole walkthrough of the app and show you what you can do. So let's load that app up again. Okay, so we've got a few different things that we can look at. So first of all, we're just gonna stay on the home page and scroll down. Then we'll go over to programming and movies and we'll have a look at what we can muck with in settings. So first of all, if we go down here, you've got all your coronavirus um, videos. Then you've got your um, SBS uh, movies, so you can have a look at all your movies. Scroll through those. And this is a lot better. This Apple's actually pretty surprised. It's actually just like the Apple TV app. It's not like the Freeview Plus app, so it's um, a lot better. You get the full version of SBS On Demand right here. So that's one great thing that it is good that Foxtel did get, the full version of SBS On Demand. Now, if we click on a movie, you can watch now or add to your favorites, okay? And if you hit watch now, you will need to sign in. Okay, so you need to make an account um, with SBS. Now you'll find if you go on your smart TV and click on SBS On Demand, you don't need to sign in. However, with Foxtel you do. So we actually won't be able to play anything in today's video. Um, also you got recently added, so you can have a look at all that great content. And you got your family movies. Now I believe I'm under, yep. So you get all that great content, and it does great work really well. Like, it's really easy to scroll through. The platform looks awesome. They did a really good job right here. Uh, so as you see, it still works really well. Okay, so that's basically everything there, and then you got um, all this great stuff down here too. Let's go down to the... Um, We'll have a look here and see what sort of stuff. So under here, what you can do, you can get a um, children, comedy, um, drama, entertainment, documentaries and food, a current affairs, special events and so much more. And as we go a little bit more, it adds a new one. So now we've got sport. Okay, it ends at sport. Um, then you've got um, your SBS originals. Just wait for that circle to go away. And it really is a great platform to have a look at. Now, we'll go to movies, which will be similar to what we just looked at before. So when we go to movies, you've got all your great movies here. Now, all these movies are from SBS World Movies, so keep that in mind. Um, some of them are from the Viceland, um, SBS Viceland. Uh, some of them are from there. But 90% of them are from World Movies. I don't think it says where, what channel they're from. No, they don't. So... Because that movie, a few days, was on um, SBS Movies, World Movies. So I know that one is from there. So yeah, you can just explore all the great content. And there's actually quite a lot on SBS On Demand. Like their movie catalog, uh, catalog is actually quite large. I'm pretty surprised with the amount of movies that they do have. So you got... So this is your Viceland uh, movies right here. So it does actually say what they are from. There's a few good ones on here. Right there. Then you've got your documentaries. Okay. 
Now let's go over to, uh, we'll show you what the heart does. So this is your favorites. Again, you can continue browsing, but we can't add anything there because we're not signed in. And with settings, there's not much you can do down there. It's basically gonna be telling you your TV, which is gonna be Foxtel. It'll tell you the version, the app version. If you wanna go down to help, which doesn't really give you much info, you can just go to their website and look at their privacy notice and so on. Uh, that's everything right there. Um, and under going back to the home page, uh, that's basically everything here. So I just wanted to do a quick little, little bit of a look at how the app runs. And so far, the app runs 100% great. It really does. The interface is amazing. Um, you get the full version of the app, which is quite impressive. Um, and it works perfectly. It's got a large catalog of movies and so on. So let us know what you think down below with um, this brand new SBS On Demand um, app on the Foxtel box. And let us know what video, what um, app you'd love to see on the Foxtel IQ4 as well. So if you want us to do any other videos on the Foxtel IQ4, let us know down below and we'll catch you guys in the next one.